Yes. Now, one thing you'll note is that we're able to have a conversation. This would not be possible on a fast boat. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. And uh, do you get people saying, gee, I wish the boat was louder? That you would get with a regular Vulcan at this that's the speed, right? Yeah, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Part of what's nice if it's like a nice smooth ride is there's there's about three thousand pounds of battery weight sitting pretty low in the hull. Uh-huh. So that's kind of one of the engineering challenges involved here is we've got this kind of fixed cost in terms of weight right off the bat. Um, and then after that, how do we keep the boat as light as possible? How do we make the rest of it efficient so we're not just dragging through the water too much? Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of the ride and like the way this feels when we're out in the water, that actually helps us, you know, carve a nice path right through the through the wake, not be bouncing too much, not porpoising up and down. Right. Um, so yeah. we're actually like standing right on our, our battery packs um, are right on either side of this hatch you see in the floor right here. So most of the deck is actually like uh, made up of two large battery packs, and then we just drop the electric motor in between the two of them under this hatch here. And do you use carbon composite in the construction of the boat to compensate for the weight of the batteries? Uh, so it's an aluminum hull, actually. Ah. Um, and so aluminum was, was a strategic choice early because it allowed us to iterate really quickly on the shape of the boat. Um, when you use composites or fiberglass, you, you know, you're paying for large molds up front. Anytime you want to make a small tweak to one of those, that means a brand new mold, typically. So this allowed us um, to kind of iterate really quickly as we were get going from prototypes into production boats. We could make small incremental tweaks as we learned more about performance and trying to like squeeze out the most efficiency and range that we could. Gotcha. Uh, so it doesn't look like most, most people who hear aluminum boat, they kind of think of old bass boats, but you can do some pretty cool stuff with aluminum in, in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Puget Sound as a place to be trying this out? Uh, I. I am absolutely smitten with these waterways. I think this is such a pristine, beautiful environment. Yeah, it's really hard to, to head home today. Um, but we're excited and we'll definitely be back.